Today on Toy Shiz, one ring to rule them all. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look courtesy of my friends over at Diamond Select. And today we're totally checking out their brand new The Lord of the Rings action figure line featuring Gimli. Just all kinds of Reese Davies out, right? That's That was a great character in those movies. Those movies, the first three, the only Lord of the Rings, basically... <laughs> are fantastic they really are and legolas who just it's it's i always think of link from legend of zelda with that guy but yeah very orlando bloomish comes with a lot of weapons on the back you get nice pictures of the action figures which yeah that lots of elvish and all the lord of the rings type stuff and they talk about 16 points of articulation character specific accessories and now they're also doing Build a figures once again till you get this giant Sauron figure, which is awesome. Diamond Select always goes huge. They spread it out over a couple waves, of course, but man, like the Ghostbusters firehouse. Yeah, it takes a little bit to build them. Well worth it once you have them all in place. I'll be curious to see Sauron when he's fully built. So you got a couple more waves of these characters and yeah, we should have him in hand. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Diamond Select, the Lord of the Rings, Legolas and Gimli action figures. And here they both are taken out of the packaging. And surprisingly enough, now I never collected the old Toy Biz figures for the Lord of the Rings. And and you look at that line, I remember seeing them on the shelves constantly. They made so many characters, so many cool things for that line. It is one of the most expansive line that Toy Biz did. Trust me, go look at it online. I mean, they even did the giant monster that fights Gandalf at one point, right? When he falls off the cliff and everything else. These new Diamond Select figures are really surprising to me. They actually have a lot of sculpted detail. They have a lot of the movie looks to them, and that really is what we all think of Lord of the Rings. They really capture the look of both of these actors. And starting off with Sauron, again, this is going to be a massive build a figure, and it's pretty cool. They nailed the helmet. They got the arm right here with the ring on it, you know, right? When in the movie he gets his fingers cut off and the ring falls out, that's what starts the whole deal every piece is heavy i mean look at this leg <laughs> armored up to the t very cool to see it this is going like i said this is going to be a giant giant figure look at let's grab gimli right here this is the size so far is one gimli just in the legs so imagine how big he's going to get but speaking of gimli let's go ahead and check him out first he is really well done these are figures that are very surprising to me i'm actually very impressed so far the level of detail the sculpt the paint everything else is top notch on this i mean you can't really ask for more everything has detail and wash and even the weapons they have really nice paint to them silver in the blade gold brown Everything just has a really nice, elegant Lord of the Ring, Elvish, Middle Earth type look to it. It's very evocative of the films and the level of detail that they achieved for back in the day. But he holds all his weapons very nicely. And I feel like the articulation, especially on Gimli, is nice. And for being, you know, like the dwarf, you know, <laughs> it works really good. So comes with these two extra hands, just you wanna grab somebody's neck or something like that. So the really, the weapon holding hands are where it's at, I feel like. He does have articulation in the head. He's got a really long braid in the back. He's got his really long beard. So really you're gonna get left and right rotation. That's all. At the arms, you can put them all the way up and they look good. He's got bicep swivel. His armor will kind of knock into the sides of his coat, right? So you just kinda of have to spin it. He will, let's see, does he, seems to spin. He has single jointed elbows. Let's see if this side works. Okay, so he spins at the elbows and the wrists and rocks and everything else. He does have waist swivel, which is good. And he does have a semblance. He has some movements in the abs. So that's nice to see. And for the legs, I like that the, the tunic part is split so you can get the legs. He does have thigh swivel to him as well. And he has single jointed knees. Just go careful on him. I really, nothing that I felt like was gonna break or anything else like that, but 
just go easy. And then he has some really nice ankles up, down, left, right, side to side with incredible detail. This is a really nice Gimli figure and moving into Legolas now, I really feel like, yeah, the Lando Bloom is there, but he has way too much blush on his face or red. It kind of looks like he got maced, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or he got slashed, cut too much on the face right there. The hair is really rendered beautifully. And again, the tunic, boots, everything has this really small, minute detail to it, but it is so good on this guy. It's very cool to see. On the bow staff, you have some gold brown. You have a nice little string to it, which is tied nicely. It does give a little bit, so it's not too stiff in the bow. He's got the arrow holder on his back. He does have sheaths, right, for his two swords. I remember him having those in the movie, but he doesn't come with anything else except for the bow and arrow, so that's a bit of a bummer. I hope it's not like a Walgreens situation where you have to buy another one and yada yada, but the arrows are nice, really nicely detailed, nicely painted. All three of them slip right there into his quiver, so that is awesome. I really like how they did that. In terms of articulation, he, unlike Gimli, he gets a little bit more rotation, a little bit more movement out of the head. The hair will work with you better than Gimli's beard and such. Really nice ball jointed arms, still go up, down, left, right, all kind of stuff. He does not have bicep swivel. He has single jointed elbows, they'll spin, and he has wrists that work really nicely. He's got upper diaphragm, and I like that you can get him, think about when he surfs that shield down the stairs, starts unloading arrows and all that in the second movie, that's pretty cool. And right here, you can see the split of the tunics. You get more movement out of him. It, oh, wait a minute, ooh, yeah. Okay, uh, you can see right there, there's some stress right there at the joint. I heard a little like crack, I hope, I don't think I broke it, but it that did not sound good. So word for warning, be very careful in the legs. I think I almost just snapped that. Single jointed knees, nice ball joints in the feet. It's overall well articulated. I like this Legolas figure as well. In terms of the scaling for these, now they are in that Diamond Select seven inch scale. So they will look nice with McFarlane toys, especially these two. These just remind me of Link and this would be like a dungeon master monster or something like that. I don't know. This just, they go really well with the whole fantasy characters on your shelf. If you're looking to put him with Marvel Legends, he's going to be a little bit too tall. He will kind of fit in with McFarlane toys, although Diamond Select just is a little bit bigger of a seven inch. But hey, if you got a Mario around, you could play some Super Smash Brothers, right? Maybe even cut up a green t-shirt and make a little hat for Link? I don't know, who did that? Anyways, the articulation I think works with these characters. So in that sense, I'm very happy, but Gimli has a little bit more range with his weapons, whereas Legolas, I think you have to fight him a little bit. I really like the weapon storage on Legolas. I think that's cool. It's weird that he doesn't have the two other weapons for the sheet, like the swords or whatever he's supposed to have. It just looks like things are missing, but I know that Diamond Select likes to do alternate versions at Walgreens, and I think there's entirely too much blush pink on Legolas's face, but the sculpt for Orlando Bloom is definitely there. If you're a huge Lord of the Rings fan, then you're definitely gonna have a blast with these figures. If you're kind of on the fence here and there, I would say get one, test it out. And if you do, definitely go with Gimli. Legolas is a nice figure, but just be careful with the articulation, especially in the legs. The stress of the joints on the legs just has me nervous. So I'm gonna go very easy, heat him up. Gimli, no problems whatsoever. I think they both achieved it in the sculpt, the design. The weapons are nice, the paint, and I'm excited to see how Sauron goes. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun to build. They aren't for everyone, but they are darn good figures. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let's talk everything Lord of the Rings. And thank you again to Diamond Select for sending these out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, the Hobbit does not exist. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.